The ACU, which is the uh, the organization that runs CPAC, is fond of hiding behind a fig leaf, stating gay people are welcome as guests at their convention. But the ability to buy a ticket to CPAC was never what our debate was about. Indeed, I'll be attending CPAC, uh, as will hundreds of other law cabin Republican members and supporters. Make no mistake, LCR is actively being prohibited from sponsoring CPAC. That's what the law care Republican statement said back in 2015. So it's been years of that too. So they want to do some sponsorships and like, yo, you can buy a ticket <laughs> and sit in the audience and shut the hell up and let us dog you out and talk about how you're unnatural and looking to come after children. You can accept that if you want more though. Says so the only conclusion that conclusion that can be made is that the organizers of CPAC do not feel gay people can be conservative. A position opposed by the thousands of millennial CPAC attendees who have been asking log cabin Republicans for months if we would be participating at this year's event. Again, from that same year in 2015, apparently they're getting questions asking about it, but they still weren't allowed much there. Uh, but then following discussions between CPAC and the log cabin Republicans, they were allowed to participate in a panel on Russia with Matt Schlapp. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Come on now, Matt Schlapp is the head of, uh, uh, he runs CPAC. But he said this in an interview with Politico, again, this is back then last week. Schlapp said that including conservatives with a variety of viewpoints has been a focus of his time heading the ACU. He says, I wanna be a chairman who doesn't shut down discussion, but encourages discussion. And uh, I feel like you were laughing, Ravana, because there's a couple headlines about Matt Schlapp. Hasn't been figured out. I don't know which way this whole thing went, but there was a, uh, accusations. CPAC urged to probe more sexual misconduct claims against chair Matt Schlapp. That same Matt Schlapp who was part of denying the law cabin Republicans from there. But why does that make any, have anything to do with it? Because Schlapp tried to settle the sexual harassment lawsuit with a six figure offer. That particular guy was a staffer of, uh, of um, uh, Herschel Walker. I said he was, that Matt Schlapp. He accused Matt Schlapp of sexual harassment, grabbing on him, inviting him into hotels and all that type of stuff. But they want to keep the log cabin Republicans out. That's just speculation, that's just accusations. I think that's what you were laughing at. I mean, it's so funny. It's so messed up, but it's so funny to put the gay, to exclude them from the event, but to allow them to sit on a panel with a man who's been accused of sexually harassing other men. I mean, I couldn't script it to be funnier than that. It's so <laughs> grotesque. But just to the point where they're saying it feels like they don't believe that gay people can be conservative. Well, if they don't want you, then leave, okay? It's That's the only logical conclusion you should, why are you fighting together? get into yeah. a party that hates you so much that they don't even they don't even want to take your money. They don't want you to pay <laughs> to sponsor an event. The, because apparently, you know, gay sex is unnatural sex according to conservatives, but the only type of natural sex there is is sexual harassment and sexual assault. <laughs> That's totally <laughs> okay with the Republican Party. They're always on board for that, but you know, I, I'm not the platforms are there. It's pretty obvious what they feel about them. Maybe they'd have nowhere to go because then, you know, if they go to folks who accept them for who they are, then they have a problem with, I guess, tax cuts and giving corporations our money and letting them rule over us. I don't know. I, I really would like to know what the similar thoughts are with them. Maybe we'll get there at some point. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.